I'm gonna get rid of the bondo all, all the way, as far as I can go. I'm gonna bring a heat gun and a chisel. Yeah, you know what, this is more or less the shape that we want, so I'm going to weld it. So I'm going to do the finishing touches, which means I'm going to grind it here a little bit. I'm going to have to weld this back and just drill holes, make the notches here, and then we can weld this in place. Of course, we're going to line it up with the fender before we weld it, so we know that we're welding it in the perfect spot. And from there, we're going to cut this piece out and we're gonna make the other piece. Does it make sense? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's do that. Actually, I'm not gonna hold you here for this. I'm just gonna do whatever I just said and I'm gonna bring you back. All right, so I filled these up and drilled holes. And I transferred this here and I made holes for plug welds and I ground this a little bit so now it fits pretty well over here. It's a good height with the boot lid. And this only is a little bit high, but actually I'm gonna have to press it down because I don't like this shape, like I said. So I think that's where it needs to be. And I was pretty much ready to start welding it when I actually noticed that I'm making another mistake and that's this plane here and this plane here should be the same plane because this is where the fender lines up and because I'm overlapping this here and this used to be one plane here now I'm overlapping it and I'm adding another what is that like sixteenth of an inch but it's already too much for this here I will have a big gap so I don't like this and I've already I noticed here inside that I've already cut this and pushed it in a little bit but I think I'm gonna have to cut it more and push it more so then this is gonna be further in than this and when I overlap it with this then this and this is gonna become one plane so I'm still gonna have to do some work here <laughs> Sorry, you're stepping on my cables. Weld it now. Hmm. There's a little bit of a curve here. So I'm gonna just tack here because I like it here. I'm gonna tack it further and I'm gonna cut even more. Alright, 
that looks good, so I'm gonna weld it, I'm gonna grind it, and I'm gonna bring you back. Okay, so it's all welded and ground. Now it is pretty much a straight line. There's a little bit here of a bump right here, but I'm not cutting that far. If I have to, like, you see it moves, so if I have to, I'm gonna push it in, I'm gonna pull it out when I'm attaching the outer piece, so I'm gonna make sure that the outer piece is a straight line. Okay, so now also ground this a little bit more because now this can go a little bit further and we have a step here and this goes nicely there like that and we're perfectly fine now the the boot lid needs to go a little bit that way so we can have a gap here let me make sure the other side also has the same distance okay that's where it's gonna it's gonna have to be so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it here and here at the end and then I'm gonna install the fender to make sure that we have a straight line here and about the height because the height is important now I'm lining it up with the height of the boot lead but I'm not sure about this height so I'm just gonna make it flush here that needs to be flush anyways and then I'm gonna install the fender and we're gonna adjust this height you know what I mean so let's do that All right. That looks pretty good, except one thing. Let me move you a little bit this way. I hope you see. So height-wise, like here we said this is gonna go down. I made a cut, first of all. I made a big, like, longer cut, so now I have a good gap here for welding. But now height-wise, it turns out that even though on the English wheel I had the rubber, looks like I have a little bit of a curve this way on this line so here when I'm good and here here I'm a little bit low of course I can build this up with uh, body filler but I don't want to now that I still have the possibility I think I'm gonna take the piece out I'm gonna cut the two tacks and I am gonna use the shrinker to bring it back to a straight line I didn't actually notice that Yep, not that noticeable, but there is a curve. I don't want to feel it with, with body filler. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I normally don't use these clamps, but in this case they actually might be useful so because they are holding nothing now instead of tucking it they're holding it in place here and now i can see if i can adjust the height on this side to make sure it fits before i start welding i guess i lost a little bit of my confidence huh if i do all this stuff so it needs to be at this height now no well, i think now it's pretty good it's a little bit higher, the fender is a little bit higher but maybe I can weld it in the middle first here it needs to be all the way down, that you know here I'm gonna just I'm just gonna use this screwdriver as a spacer I think that's more than good it's even gooder right? gooder than better um, okay so now I guess I can tuck it in multiple places here, 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 and here to keep it to the right height before I remove my screwdriver. And then we can finish welding it and move forward. Wow, making progress, finally. All right, guys, so now actually 
I can take the fender off and do the spot welds on the side before I finish this because I don't want anything to warp I want it to be held on as many places as possible okay so now that the fender is off I'm gonna do the plug welds but here in the center I think it's a little bit too low so I'll try to raise it just a little bit in the center Up just a smidge and I noticed this side was a little bit too high so I'm gonna drop this down once I weld here and here and in case you don't know how these work I know most of you know, but just in case there's this one guy who doesn't Now you see, there is somebody So, that's for you This goes under, obviously And you can just compress the two layers of sheet metal together And line them up and weld them And in case one is thicker than the other You also have an adjustment here for both you can adjust this thickness here or this here on top and that can give you you can level your layers of sheet metal so it's pretty nice too but it's too much work to put it on and off and that's why I'm too lazy to use it many times but they're nice they're not that expensive I got them from uh, Amazon, I think like 30 Canadian, something like that, for four, and they're, they're really good, useful things. So now I'm going to finish all this welding, and I'm going to go from there. Alright, that's pretty good now. There's still this hump here that I don't like, but I guess we're going to have to deal with that later when we're doing the bodywork. Maybe I'm going to do a little bit of shrinking disc here anyways we will see for now that's pretty good so next this part now I can get rid of this I kept it as a reference so far where the stitch was supposed to be I'm gonna try to get rid of it without disturbing this because this is important part as we know with chef dash If you're following Chef Tash, you know that we have to play on his uh, TR250 a lot with this. We cut it, we raised it, we lowered it. I don't, know, I don't remember what else, but it was because his uh, serial top wasn't fitting very well with this, so we adjusted the curve on this part. So here, and I'm pretty sure it is where it's supposed to be because it is pretty solid. You see, it's not going anywhere so I'm gonna try and not disturb it while welding it you know so let's make the part for here alright guys we have to make an agreement for this season something needs to change here I mean you have to tell me when your battery is low I can't follow everything and what just happened was your battery was low the camera died and I was working here I was talking to myself I don't like when I talk to myself. Yeah, I like talking to smart people, but I'd rather talk to you than to myself. So, anyways, your battery was low and I don't know how far you followed. So, anyways, I made my touch already. I hope you saw most of it, but we will see. That's pretty good, I think. Well, I think I need to open it a little bit. Now, I'm not worried about the height. Well, of course, I'm gonna check it, but I should be fine because this height was good here of this piece. This height was good when we, when we checked with the fender. So now 
a straight line between here and here should give me the good height. So now we have to adjust the inner piece, the angle of this thing, so it matches this this uh, sheet metal here. So it needs to go a little bit higher here and a little bit higher here and here we're gonna have to build it down because uh, from this end to here I have a little bit of metal like a reference to where I should be but from here um, I cut it too high I mean it was rusted that's why I cut it too high I wouldn't cut it if, I, if it wasn't rusted but I cut it higher so here I'm gonna have to build down I guess so I have to open it. I'm just gonna open the angle. I'm just gonna open this angle here. Alright, I don't know what happened again. The camera was off again. Again, I don't, I don't understand what's going on, but anyways. So, I opened the angle a little bit. And now it fits pretty well. The question is now, how far in we weld it here, you know, because it moves moves in and out. So, my plan is, let's make our holes, oh, we already made one, so I'm gonna make the two holes, the other two holes, we're gonna make our notches here, and then I'm gonna put some seam sealer here because that's what's gonna prevent water from coming in here. That's a little bit stupid, but that's how it is originally, and that's how it's gonna be. Then we're gonna put this here, and we're gonna tack it in such a way that we have a straight line here. Then we're gonna tack the other end as well, just tack, nothing else. And with these two tacks, we're gonna install the fender. And once the fender is installed, we're gonna know exactly how far in this needs to be, you know what I mean? So when it is further in and out as much as we want it, then we can start tacking it here. Of course, we're gonna have to adjust the height here. We're gonna have to push in now, so we will see. I mean, I can't start welding it here and then figuring out that I have a zigzagging line here. I need to make sure that I have a straight line here and only then weld it here. So, sounds like a plan? All right. All right, so what we forgot yesterday, because, uh, I didn't tell you, but it's another day. Anyway, so what we forgot here was to prime. Well, now it's a little bit too late, right? <laughs> anyway, I primed here and here. Now while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna get rid of these snap buttons here. And I'm gonna clean a little bit. There's a little bit of brazing here. There's even body filler here. All right. All right. This doesn't look bad, like not bad at all. So I can start welding it here. Here we're gonna have to fill up this gap with something. But I noticed here somehow yesterday when I was doing this, this from here to here, this moved up. And luckily here I didn't line them up perfectly, so this piece is low enough, it's pretty good, but this piece is a little bit high. So, I'm gonna have to lower this, I don't like it. It's like from here to here, this is much higher than what I, what I can live with. Anyways, I'm gonna weld this, that's not a problem here, I can weld it now and then I can take the fender off and I can lower this piece a little bit. I know it's plug welded but I can make a cut on this side like and drop it a little bit. I'm gonna show you but I don't like it where it is right now so we're gonna deal with it. Let me do this now. This 
is going to be a nightmare to grind after, but it is what it is. Okay. So, that's good. I think I'm going to finish welding this, just because I can. And then we're going to take off the fender and I'm going to deal with this a little bit. So I'm going to turn you off now to save your battery and I'll bring you back later. Alright, that took a while. <laughs> it was like 10 minutes of welding and then over an hour of grinding, but it cleaned well. It looks okay. So, of course, it's gonna need some body filler to fill these imperfections, but there are no holes. So, the only part is right here that I have to still fix, but uh, I don't wanna weld right now. I'm gonna take the fender off. I want to find a way to lower this part, like I said, from here, maybe. Oh, that bent also. Hmm. I just realized that this area from here to here needs to go down. That's for sure. So here I know we can clamp it. When I take the fender out, I can clamp it here. So yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Yeah, I should have taken the fender out and tucked the plug welds here so it doesn't work on me. I didn't think of that. Anyways, now I'm going to have to deal with it. Um, so you see, it's rocking here. And look at the fender. It's also rocking, but it's much less. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. This here, you see, it's still moving. I want to move it down a little, but most importantly, I want to make a cut here, and this cut is going to be above the rear piece, so the rear piece is going to remain intact because I can actually have to, I actually have to weld here a little bit because I can see a gap between the back piece and the overlapping piece, so back piece runs somewhere here. So I'm going to make a cut closer to the top and I'm going to drop it down. And I only need to make a cut from here to here because the rest is going to move. I'm getting the fake sense that I have some protection on my eyes because I wear these, but I don't want to ruin them. But many times I just forget my safety goggles. That all that go over these anyways. Okay, so you see, that's what I wanted. I want this to drop down and to allow this to drop too. Okay. I don't know how much it moves here, it barely moves here, so I need a little bit more here. Okay, I'm going to tuck this in two places and maybe I'm going to drop this down a little bit more and I'm going to tuck it and again I'm going to double check with the fender because I don't want any more mistakes. Here because it's going to be easier to cut if I need to. Let's first check with the ruler. Yeah. yeah. See, it's still rocks, but it's good. Okay. I'm happy now. Here it's a little bit lower. But actually, no, here, I don't have a screw here now, so it sits a little bit open, but when you push it in, the height is good, so we are done. 
I mean, that's the final position. I'm going to take the fender off. I'm going to weld it and forget about it. All right, so it's all welded and ground down. And I will consider this area complete. And I'm going to move to something else. Well, I think that's more than enough for one episode. So I'm going to end this video here. And as you can see, I'm actually home. And it turns out that I'm not going to work for the next two weeks because I've been asked to self-isolate because of uh, actually my girlfriend developed some uh, fever the other day and at work she was in contact with somebody who was in contact with somebody who was confirmed case of the disease that everybody's talking about so uh we are good she developed a little bit of fever but then but then the fever broke and uh for the last four days she's been fine so i hope everything is fine with her but anyways we've been advised that we have to self-isolate for 14 days so that's why I am home guys and I uh, can't keep working on the car so I have more footage that I can show and uh, I think I have enough for another two episodes and I have a little bit more footage about uh, something else that I always wanted to show you from my vacation in Bulgaria not the entire vacation but uh, an automotive museum that I went to so I always wanted to show you that so maybe now it's the, I have the opportunity to edit a video about that and show it to you. And anyways, I'm going to try to keep you entertained. And that also keeps me entertained because I'm sitting here at home doing nothing, you know. <laughs> um, actually, I, I actually have lots of things to do. I always wanted to uh, spend some time learning uh, a little bit Fusion 360. That's uh, uh, Cam and CAD uh, software. You can use, you can make 3D models and stuff like that. Uh, there are other things that I wanted to self-educate with, so I can do pretty much a lot of things. But first of all, I'm gonna try and uh, use all the footage that I have in my computer that I haven't used yet. So yeah, so I hope everybody is safe. Please, guys, stay home. I hope you are all healthy, but. Uh, don't wait to get sick or to, to show symptoms to decide and stay home. I think everybody who can should stay home and self-isolate until the whole thing is gone. So if we have something, we shouldn't spread it. Or if we still don't have it, which I hope is the case with everybody. If we still don't have it, let's not uh, expose ourselves to... Uh, people who possibly have it. So I think whoever can, whoever have the possibility is better to stay home. That's my advice. That's what I'm doing. I know it's hard financially and it's hard for me as well, but we're gonna see. We're gonna have to figure out later how to deal with this problem. Let's deal with our health guys. I really, really strongly recommend that everybody stays home for as long as possible and don't and not go out for non-essential reasons anyways that's my message for you and if you are isolated like me i hope my videos keep you entertained so stay healthy guys stay safe bye